Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so today we got a 2020 Hyundai Tucson. Um, I'm just gonna be doing maintenance. Came in for a brake noise or the brake pedal is all to the low uh, on the floor. So I inspect it and it just breaks all around. So um, we're gonna be doing our, um, I'm gonna do the front, but I'm not gonna show you that because it's pretty straightforward. But the back one is, it has an electric parking brake. So what we're gonna do first is, I'm gonna be using our Think Tool Pro. And we're gonna go to our ABS and go to ABS system let's see if there's the special function there and we got this mode here brake pad change mode so we're just gonna check that so it says here engine off ignition on what you want to do apply or release so we, we need to release that so press C2 and then in your cluster it will show the rear brake pad in service mode so and then while you're doing that it's you're gonna hear some whining noise from that electric motor from the parking brake that's gonna wind back so now we can safely push in our pistons or turn the piston it depends on what's the design in there at the back um, so we just have to press this okay and we'll do our we'll do our what we call that service and also I know some guys they just push in the piston there so far I don't hear any problems but in this case we just want to be you know sure because you know we don't want to mess up the caliper because that's gonna be an expensive repair and some other guys what they do is as other um, I think I saw some YouTube videos from like German cars that they remove that um, parking actuator itself right and then that's the time they wind that back the piston i never um tried that yet but i don't want to try it too um so if you have a capable scan tool for sure with this with this um our technology right now even though like the 300 or 500 dollar scan tool you can always do that special function now with those um new scan tools right now so let's go to the rear area and let's do our replacement process all right guys so i did the right side already now we're gonna do the left side so first we're just gonna loosen our brake um, bleeder screw here so that when we push in our piston um, it's gonna be easier and some of the dirt stuck in here is not going back to the line but at least it's gonna come out right so i'm just gonna loosen this for now and lock it a little bit I'm gonna remove our connector for our parking brake and then 14 millimeter in our bolt here okay. so now before we push this in later or we can push it now we're gonna just remove the dirt on the side of the piston right Let's put that aside. So next will be we're gonna remove our caliper bracket that's 14 mm at the back. Oh, so the other side was so tight um, because I think there's some thread locker there or rust. So 
later all we're gonna do is we're just gonna run the bolt through the thread later when we take this out so that when we install this it's gonna be easier out let's put that aside for now and then let's go back in the front and we're gonna remove our disc so it's held on by the screws here let's use your hammer and a screw clean the hub first and we're gonna put a new disc forget your don't forget your safety glass and mask spray it with brake cleaner And then we're just gonna use this anti seize spray or also uh, rust prevention so that the next guy who's gonna do this job it's gonna be easier for him to remove the disc, right? It's not gonna get stuck. Okay, so there's a new disc. Put back your screws. You don't have to go crazy on locking it. It's just, it's just there to hold this disc. Okay. Now we're gonna clean our bracket right prepare for the new pads and then we're gonna push in our piston or the caliper okay. so here's our caliper bracket with the pads on you're gonna need this guy here this is our spring thing under pads it doesn't come with a new set of pads only the pads and these shims here that will come for in the new box. So just remove that. So if you don't have a grinding disc, you can use a square file that fits correctly here. Why we're cleaning it so that our new shims will go sit easy and the pads will go nice will go in nicely okay don't go crazy on grinding it just take out the surface rust right so next will be we're gonna put some new lube here so I'm using here um, silicon grease here for this guy okay. 
And then don't just go crazy on it. Just apply slight, right? Just cover it, more or less like that. Same thing on our other side. Okay. So next is we're gonna just gonna apply some. This is a paste. It's the same thing as this one. This is spray. So we're just gonna apply some of it in our grinded surface. Now we're gonna put our new shim. Okay, the clicks. Okay. So that's how it looks like. And I mentioned that this it was so hard to remove the bolt, right? We're just gonna run too quick with a bolt on this side here so that when we put it in it's gonna be easier for us Same thing on the other side. Okay. Now we're gonna install this now to our uh, knuckle area. Okay, so let's install this guy here. Get our bleeder screw at the back. We got my Tropicana bottle here. I'm just gonna put it on the side there for now. Okay. So I'm gonna loosen that right to the um, bleeder screw. Let's loosen now. Now, as you can see here in our piston, uh, the piston, there's some slot there, right? That lines up on our pads at the back of it. So this is our back pads here. It will line up there. So make sure, usually before, I mark it on this one to here, but as you can see, this um, gap here lines up on this. 
this part of the indentation on this caliper so that's my mark right now so I'm just gonna turn this piston and mark it there all the way in right so we have this type of piston pusher It's gonna be hard a little bit, but just turn it. I can push it. gonna line up that gap there on this part here and just push it so okay so that piston is all the way in now I'm just gonna lock this leader screw here at the back We're gonna grab our pads. Let's put that aside for now. Just gonna lubricate our edges here, the contact points on our pads. And then also where our two sides of that um, caliper. And just install this. Same thing at the back, so it slides easy. So if you're not gonna clean that surface in our caliper, when you install the new pads, it won't go easy and end up with a C spas, and it's gonna lessen the lifetime of the pads, right? Okay, so our spring thing there at the back of the pads is good. Now our caliper. I'm just gonna install this guy nice and easy 14 mm oh, something is going on what's going on no, it's not turned properly so the gap on that piston didn't line up on that markings that I just 
show you guys so just turn it a little bit because it won't the caliper won't sit properly right and you cannot screw in your bolts so if it doesn't it doesn't sit properly right don't force it because you don't want to have any other problems Okay, and then I'm just gonna tighten them. Okay, that's tight. And you're gonna ask me why you don't torque this. Um, I've been doing a lot of um, brakes already, so I know the feel of how tight for my caliper bolt. But the proper way you torque that, I think the torque on this one is 24 foot pound. And then don't forget your. Um, parking brake connector heard a click that's good now we're gonna go back inside the car and let's do that um, parking brake uh, not parking brake brake pad um, change mode okay so every time you do a brake um, work brake service replacement of pads replacement of caliper so make it a habit before you start anything pump the pump your pedal right until it goes hard and that's good enough so let's go back to our scan tool okay let me go through with this time again okay so we're back and our cluster still shows their rear brake pad in service mode so let's go back to our ABS system special function brake pad change mode and then earlier we got the release now we're gonna go apply so I can hear now the motors are turning and it's been completed press ok and we don't have that um, message there now brake pad change mode right so now just to make sure let's apply our parking brake here so that parking brake is applied let's go back outside that's tight now we're gonna release our parking brake Okay, and it's turning, so that's good. And then I'll just double check the right side. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys. Um, I get some of you ask about uh, how do we do the rear parking with electric parking brake at the rear brakes. Um, so that's my process. I use a scan tool just to retract that crater or the motor. Just to make sure because um, I don't want to take a chance because it's an expensive part if we'll just push it and then the service information I always say that you know use the scan tool just to do the service mode um, I know other guys just, just they just push it and nothing wrong with the vehicle but you know just to be safe so I hope you guys enjoyed that video and let me know what you guys think and thank you again for watching. See you next time.